Here we are at the allotment and we're going to be talking about potato diseases. Now, Susan, you're an expert well, in this. Well, I don't know about that, but this we're specifically talking about blight. Now, blight is a fungus disease, an airborne fungus disease, and it was actually the cause of the Irish potato famine. It lands on the leaves and um, you get brown, black-edged spots on the leaves and then they slowly increase and then the spores can drop onto the soil and then they will get down into the tubers and rot those. And rot the potatoes then? Yeah. And so what you do is you spray in advance of having blight. In other words, you've sprayed the foliage so that if the bright blight spores land on it, they don't take hold. And where do the blight spores come from? Well, they're, they're airborne, they're around all the time, but there is right. a particular thing called a Smith's period, which is if you have 48 hours where the temperature is above 10 degrees centigrade and the humidity is above 75%, then you have a Smith's period, which means that blight is likely to be prevalent. Right, okay. It needs those humid, sort of warm, muggy, so a summer frog or something like that would be... So is it a common problem, potato blight? Um, commercial growers spray automatically when you get to that certain stage against blight and you spray regularly every 10 to 14 days then to, to keep it to at To keep bay. it at bay. Yeah. So what are we going to do here now? Uh, we've got something here called Dyphane 945, which I've yeah. already mixed in the sprayer. You note I'm wearing rubber gloves yeah. to deal with it. It's a powder. You mix it a bit like custard powder with a little bit of cold water first of all. Right. Put it in the sprayer, top it up to the required amount. They give you the instructions, instructions on the mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And then you spray your potatoes. Now, is it a strong sort of um, spray, this? I mean, would you need to cover your mouth or anything? Or? Well, if it was very uh, windy windy or something, you would. But generally, you're spraying right down onto the actual leaves of the foliage. So you need plant. a good sprayer now you need to be doing yeah, this. this is a, yeah, this is a five-litre pressurised sprayer. Sprayer, and that's the sort of thing yeah. that sends I mean, one of these use. hand ones, you just get a oh, pretty so well-exercised hand. Yeah. Okay. But you need to well soak the leaves and get into the lower foliage as well. You want to be right in, sort of down down low on the plant and into the lower foliage right, so as you're well. giving them a good saturation. So you're giving a good sort of going over with the foliage. Yeah. And how long should that last, Susan? Uh, they reckon sort of, I think it's, you spray again every 14 days, every 10 days, something like that. Very much depends if immediately after you sprayed you get very heavy rain, it's going to wash a certain amount off. But you sort of, you judge it and then you watch out for the Smith's period, of course. And you'll get a, the, usually the news, the, the weather news or, or something. The or the weather will give you a yeah. blight warning, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. But be nothing worse than to lose your crop of potatoes it's just by not, not nice. now, being smart. If you do get blight, the thing to do really is to cut the foliage off and burn it. Don't put it in the compost bin. Oh, Don't right. leave it lying around. Get rid of it. I burn mean, it. Into your black bin. Right, burn it. and if, if, and if then, you do get it, um, it's too late though for the potatoes, is it? Well, what will happen generally is you will get some sort of crop if you get rid of the foliage before the spores can drop onto the yeah. ground and be washed into the soil oh. and into the tubers, you'll get some sort of crop, all right. Oh, that's uh, okay. You won't right. get as much as you would, obviously, if they remained healthy on top. So it's be but aware now, yeah, absolutely, because you'd go mad. Well, that's a great it tip. Very I'm delighted we covered that at Gardenville. Well, it is an important thing, yes. Yeah, so if you've had potato diseases or potato blight or whatever, do contact us at Gardenville.tv. Mm. There, well, there is one other thing you can use if you're organic growing, which is copper sulphate, Bordeaux mixture. So that's the same sort of thing. It, it has the same effect. You spray regularly, and when the spores land, they don't um, take, take hold, I think. Great. Okay. That's a great tip. Thanks, Susan.